The objective of this indicator is to perform an in-depth analysis of trends, seeking to distinguish between two types of capital flows, banker capital, and hot money. The term banker refers to large capital, while hot money refers to small capital. In other words, the aim is to try to differentiate the flow of long-term institutional capital from that of short-term retailers. Making this distinction is important because it allows a better understanding of how prices move and helps to anticipate movements. For example, if institutional investors dominate the market, there tends to be more stability since they invest for the long term and have solid resources. On the other hand, if hot money capital dominates, there may be more volatility as these funds move in and out quickly, causing abrupt price movements. This indicator is in TradingView and is called MACDX plus RSI plus SMA by Than Kong. In the indicator, we can see several components, which mean the following. The green bars represent the activity of bankers or long-term institutional capital. It is based on an adjusted RSI that has a lower sensitivity to show the most stable and sustained price movements, reflecting the behavior of long-term investors. For example, if the green bars are rising, it indicates that long-term investors are accumulating positions, which could suggest a sustained uptrend. If they are falling, it indicates that long-term investors are reducing positions, which could suggest a downtrend. The yellow bars represent hot money activity, representing short-term speculative capital that moves rapidly between markets with high risk of volatility. It is also based on an adjusted RSI that has a high sensitivity to reflect faster and more volatile price movements. A predominance of yellow bars could indicate that short-term investors are taking significant positions in the market, leading to increased price volatility, while the red bars try to represent the operations made by retail traders, small individual investors. These trades are usually of lower volume and are carried out through online trading platforms. That is, people like you and me. The purple line, a moving average applied to the RSI of the green banker's equity bars, provides a clearer and smoother view of the long-term trend. When this line is rising, it signifies a long-term uptrend, and when it is falling, it indicates a downtrend. The indicator also includes a stochastic, which is the blue and white colored lines. When the lines cross, they indicate an entry signal. Knowing each part of the indicator, we can use it to complement our analysis. For example, for a bullish entry, the conditions would be as follows. The purple line should be rising, indicating a long-term uptrend and suggesting that institutional capital is accumulating positions. In addition, the green bars should be rising, which reinforces the idea that institutional capital is accumulating positions. Finally, the stochastic should show a bullish crossover, where the blue line crosses above the white line, indicating that the price is starting to rise and that it is a good time to consider a long position. Now for a sell signal, the conditions would be as follows. The purple line must be going down, indicating a long-term downtrend. The green bars must be going down and the yellow bars must be predominant. The stochastic must show a bearish crossover where the blue line crosses below the white line, indicating that the price is starting to go down and that it is a good time to consider a sell position. In summary, through this indicator, we can consider the following variables. Long-term capital movement. Movement of short-term capital activity of small investors, reversal points through stochastic, and overbought and oversold levels. It can therefore be considered a robust complement to technical analysis by combining multiple tools and signals, providing a complete and detailed view of the market.